Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. The title of this talk is Does the Average Joe Have a Right to Own an Inexpensive Portable Radio Frequency and Microwave Weapon Detector? It seems to me that controllers on Earth have been influencing national governments through mind control so that they can use the government's deep pockets to develop ways of mind controlling great masses of humanity. I recall, for instance, that was so for the mind control attempts purportedly piggybacking on the now defunct HARP, it's H A A R P, high frequency radio transmitter program in America. You can find out more about that in the Wikipedia article entitled High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. More recently, it apparently has to do with development of pulsed directed weapons of war using radio frequency and microwave energies to muddle people's minds. It might be, for instance, that a group of psychics led by a controller might mind control the government's leaders into believing that masses of seditionists or revolutionaries might gather and endanger the ability of the government to rule the people. Then the controller's psychics might suggest that radio frequency, that's RF, weapons, might be stockpiled for use against crowds of unruly people. That might be the current wave of controllered agenda at work in the world today. There's an article in Forbes entitled The Pentagon Fears That Deadly Microwave Weapons Are Undetectable. It's by Michael Peck and it appeared on the 2nd of March 2021. This article mentions that the U.S. Defense Health Agency is trying to find a portable, lightweight, radio frequency, or RF, weapon sensor. Apparently, several nations are developing RF and microwave weapons, which I have read can cause long-term as well as short-term problems with cognition, as well as cancer. According to Forbes, the United States developed these weapons as a way to shoot down drones and also as a way to control crowds. From this, it looks like the U.S. government might be planning to use microwave or RF weapons against gatherings of people in the United States and that they might not want to make wearable RF weapon detection devices available to the average consumer. Now this is wrong thinking. The U.S. Constitution does guarantee freedom of speech, does it not? And clearly, by extension, freedom not to have one's mind tampered with by microwave weapons, do you not feel? It is us, United States citizens, that the government ought to make every effort to protect from radio frequency weapons. When looked at in the clear light of day, I feel these might be classified as homeland terrorist weapons or maybe psychic terrorism. It is we civilians and our local law enforcement agencies who are the ones that Homeland Security ought to bend every effort towards providing with inexpensive wearable RF weapon sensors. Then they ought to back up our terrorist weapons location efforts with confiscation and destruction of the weapons. That is what I feel. I feel certain that as people become more and more aware of this issue, an effort along these lines will be undertaken at the state and national levels. Until then, at least there is anti-RF wear available at Amazon. 
For more on this, see my blog entitled, Are Drug Lords Using RF Weapons Against Members of Our Community? So, what you, the talk that you're hearing right now has been added to a bigger blog that I have uh, called Crowd Consciousness. And that blog is available on my website, awakeningwithplanetearth.com. You can see it uh, listed at the, in the more information link at the bottom of the, of the YouTube channel. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day. And I'm sure that all of us together can, can solve these sorts of problems that come up before the world. Maybe brand new problems. We will know what to do from a grassroots to a national level with our very wise leadership. We will come to a method of dealing with all the new things that are coming up in the world. God bless you all. Keep you safe.